It's time once again for that business show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Wins WHNZ, where business becomes show business. Jamie is a leading Tampa Bay real estate agent and featured on the Wall Street Journal's list of top 100 real estate agents in the nation. Jamie invites you to list your home with him today and learn more at tampabayradio.com. Now, live in studio and promoting the entrepreneurial spirit that drives the American economy, your host, Jamie Maloney. Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Friday, and thanks for checking in the That Business Show yet again. As many of y'all know, this is uh, on every single day now, 8 a.m. here on 1250 Wins WHNZ, and just want to thank all of my listeners and supporters as we're coming up on our first year anniversary, and the show has grown leaps and bounds. And so just thank you to everybody that turns on the, uh, the radio in the morning to uh, listen to the program. Or, or heads over to Tampa Bay Radio or WeBeam TV and checks out the uh, video, which we do stream each and every morning here live in studio. So thank you so much. The show is doing amazing. Uh, as always, uh, visit TampaBayRadio.com. The show uh, is available on demand at all times over there. And also you can peruse local real estate listings as I am a real estate agent with Coal Banker. Been in business eight plus years, sold some 1,500 properties and want to be your resource for buying or selling real estate in the Tampa Bay community. Reach out to me through my contact form over over there on the website and if you're uh, looking to sell your home in the bay area I do offer a free home valuation just put in your home's uh, uh information into the sell your home link on the home page and we'll get you over a free evaluation typically within 24 to 48 business hours uh the lovely student uh, stella judicelli uh, joins me in studio this morning stella good morning to you bonjour tampa bay any plans uh, for the weekend uh, the weekend, uh, just it's work. You, usually you and I are the office. Yeah, just work <laughs> so. and stuff. I'm getting ready, uh, you are as well. The uh, first annual That Business Show Awards dinner coming right. up on Monday, cel- uh, on Monday, which will be celebrating our one-year anniversary of being on air and just an amazing accomplishment. So we're yeah. putting that together on Monday. Still is a presenter, isn't she? Yeah, she's one of the uh, presenters presenting 11 different awards, and uh, Stella will be presenting the Lifetime Entrepreneur uh, Entrepreneurship Award, a very, yes, uh, I will. A very prestigious award going out to one of five different nominees in that category and each of the nominees are very uh, very well accomplished i got all the nominees actually up for the different categories over on tampabayradio.com i wish i could advertise uh, the sale of more tickets but unfortunately we're sold out for that event uh, it's going to be held in the center club thank you very way. much we're going to have probably over 140 to 150 uh, people in attendance i promise next year though we'll make it a major event we're going to shoot for about 500 people or so and i think we can hit that oh you see big jamie i like that absolutely we got a great show plan for you today on the second part of the show we'll be talking with a uh, terry blachek who's one of the founders of orange theory a very uh exciting uh, fitness model so very uh excited to uh, speak with him but up first we got susan poskis who is a cpa and owner of Robert's poskis international susan and her staff have more than 75 years of experience working exclusively in the international area advising u.s citizens and foreign investors on international individual and corporate concerns susan welcome to the program today hi jamie thanks a lot for having me So I'm very excited to have Suzanne on the show because her and I used to work together closely, actually. So it's not our, how do you say, it's not our first rodeo show. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Susan was telling you all used to do presentations together because in your uh, uh, pre-career to real estate, you did some type of money type of job. What was that? So um, it was in the real estate industry. And what we did is for international clients buying and selling property in Florida, we'll do the currency exchange. Oh, okay, gotcha. So it was real estate and international. So I was invited to board of realtors to speak and real estate companies. And this is how I met Suzanne and Anna. Uh, she and I ended up partnering and inviting each other to our own presentations. And I had a great pleasure to work with her for a few years. So I'm glad to see her back And Jamie, here. I have to admit, I enjoyed listening to Stella. We all do. <laughs> She's got a very pleasant voice and a very pleasant feature. And we all love listening to Stella as well. And we thank her so much for being in the studio uh, so often as she is. As long as you can understand me, I guess. Oh, we can understand you. Can? you. We can okay. understand you. Uh, so, Susan, let's start off. We're going to talk about FERPTA today. What okay. is FERPTA? What does it stand for? Foreign Investment in Real Property Tax Act of 1980. And uh, it just changed dramatically. Uh, President Obama signed the, I have to write this one down, Protecting Americans from Tax Hikes, called PATH Act, into law on December 18th. And it changes our FERPTA uh, dramatically. Um, FERPTA, Foreign Investment and Real Property Tax Act, is assessed on foreign nationals who have are selling property in the United States, and it's 10% withholding tax 
or it's always been a 10% withholding tax on the gross sales price. Now it's 15. That 15% goes into place on February 16th. Okay, so this is a change as a result of the new uh, law signed by uh, mm -hmm. President Obama, and this law came about in 1980. What was the catalyst for the law to begin with? Obviously, a taxation avoidance, but what was going on at this time well, in the if, market? Uh, if you or I were to sell property in the United States and it wasn't our primary residence, we would have to pay tax on the gain. And so what they did was they instituted this on people who were buying and selling property who don't live here and work in the United States, aren't U.S. citizens, in order to track it and make them pay their fair share of tax. If, we, if I, as a U.S. person, go to Canada and buy property, I have to pay tax if I sell that property um, on any gain. So all the IRS tried to do, not that I'm trying to take up for them, <laughs> um, all they tried to do was they put into place a, a tax that would make it fair. If you're going to buy and sell U.S. real estate, you need to pay tax just like you or I would as a U.S. citizen. Okay, now you spoke about capital gains on the, whenever you buy or sell real estate. Unless it's a homesteaded property that you've lived there for two years, you've got to pay tax on the gain. Explain to the uh, listeners what the current environment is for capital gains. Capital gains is 15% if your income is less than approximately 250000 total. It goes up to 20% if your income is higher than that, plus a 3.8% Medicare surtax, which is uh, because of the uh, uh, Obamacare Act. Now, also, does the capital gains tax also change with regard to real estate investment if you own it for a year or more? Isn't it if you buy and sell property within one year, there's a different capital gains tax versus all one the, year? All of the t capital gains tax rates that I just told you about are for holding a property more than one year. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't matter if you're a U.S. person or a foreign person. As long as you hold the property for more than a year, you're eligible for one of those reduced tax rates. Otherwise, your tax rate could be as high as 39.6%. Okay, so explain the process then when a foreign person is selling real estate in the United States. Does it delay the closing somewhat? Is it, it a it different doesn't. type of closing? They, the, and uh, contrary to popular belief by some some realtors, and well, not really the realtors. The realtors are the good guys. It's the, uh, the attorneys that I find not so happy with. But anyway, um, they don't have to have a tax ID number to sell their property, but they do have to have a tax ID number to file a tax return down the road. And so if I have a foreign property, or excuse me, if I have a property and I'm from Canada and I'm selling it, I find Stella and I say, Stella, I need to sell my house. And she puts it on the market for whatever the price range is. And then when I go to sell my house at closing, the closing company will withhold 10% and send it to the Internal Revenue Service. Um, as an estimated tax payment. So I was going to say that 10% is not a, 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 a loss necessarily. The IRS is going to work the numbers and then you may get a refund or you may not get a refund. That's right. right? That's one of the common myths that I talk about. You can get the money back. It's you. It's strictly an estimated tax payment. So if you overpay your tax, Jamie, do you get a refund on your tax return? No. <laughs> <laughs> you need to come see me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, if, if they have overpaid the tax that's due, they can get the money back just the same way you or I could. Is there a workaround to this? Is there a, you know, an alternative to the, uh, the withholding for a foreign seller? Absolutely. There's a couple of alternatives. One of them is to file a preliminary form called a withholding certificate and ask for a reduced rate of withholding or, or even it reduced to zero. It's a little bit of a complicated process and um, you need to jump through some hurdles to do it, but it can be done. And the other one is to entice or entice is the wrong word, um, to encourage the buyer to sign what we call the intent to reside, which is if the buyer is going to be using that residence as a personal residence, not a primary home, but even a personal residence, then they can they can agree to take on some additional commitments and there will, won't be any withholding as long as the sales price is less than 300000 One of the changes in FERPTA recently was that they've raised the... Uh, the ability to get reduced withholding by the buyer's purchase of this property as a residence to a million. So if you sell your property for 300000 or less and the buyer is willing to sign what we call the intent to reside, um, there is no withholding. You still have to file a tax turn. Unfortunately, you can't get out of that one. Um, and so forth and so on. Now, if the property value is like, say, maybe 700000 um, you can apply for a reduced rate of withholding under the new law that goes into effect next month 
of 10% instead of 15%. So you can lower your withholding a little bit. Um, the buyer still has to agree that they're using this property as their residence. And we don't really recommend that because it puts a lot of burden on the buyer. Um, and the buyer is at risk anyway in any transaction when you have a uh, a foreign seller. I was going to say, the ultimate responsibility of the uh, FERPA withholding is on the buyer in this situation. I guess they can't really do anything with, That's the, with the foreign uh, national because they're not an American and, citizen. And so. and so what I have happened sometimes is the, the, the seller will... We had someone do their own withholding certificate, which is a way to get reduced money. And he did his own withholding certificate, and then he got denied, and he didn't tell the buyer. Um, and so the buyer uh, eventually found out, and we sent the money in late. And um, the Internal Revenue Service assessed a penalty on the buyer. Wow. The buyer had nothing to do with any of this, except that the buyer is the ultimate uh, is the withholding agent under the law. Now, in standard real estate practice, though, the title company is going to step in and let the buyer know and say, the, hey, we need it. we're going to send this off to the IRS on your behalf. A reputable title company is very important, yes. And you need one that understands But a private transaction, with the, you're just doing you know, an, an arm's length transaction without a title company, you need to be aware of this then as a, a buyer of foreign ra- a property. Yes, but even with the title company stepping in, Jamie, the, the liability still falls on the buyer. It's not the title company that's the withholding holding agent. It's still the buyer. And what was the penalty to the uh, buyer in your situation? I always say that it's about 25% of whatever the FERPTA is. That's wow. just a general rule of thumb. Uh, depends on how long the to- uh, amount of time that's passed since the money was now, paid. Now, are we as Americans under the same type of law when we uh, sell foreign property, for instance? If I sell property in China, for instance, or of course that's communist government, but other types of governments <laughs> where you, know, you can actually buy and sell real estate freely? I mean, are we under the same types of regulations? We're going to have withholding rules, and Canada actually has a FERPTA rule. It's 20 five percent not uh, 15 percent like ours but it is assessed on the difference between the purchase and sales cost with no they don't really let you look at any improvements you might have done or anything like that and it is assessed at closing um as u.s persons if we sell property in foreign countries we're usually assessed tax because we're buying and selling their real estate their their land uh, just like they we assess them a tax if they come here Good information. Got to take a a quick break. Currently talking to uh, Susan Poskis, owner of Roberge Poskis International. And you can learn more about her, rpitax.com. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Tampa Bay weather is a roof killer. That's why when getting your roof done, you want it done right. Hi, I'm Jamie Maloney of That Business Show. When considering a new roof or repair, talk to Westfall Roofing. They've been installing high-quality roofs in Tampa Bay for over 25 years. Get a free, no-obligation estimate by calling 855-99-ROOFING. That's 855-99-ROOFING. Find out what already 15,000 satisfied customers already know. Call now, 855-99-ROOFING. Are you in need of new flooring or ready to tackle that home remodeling project? Then contact Jaeger & Company Incorporated, a family-owned, state-certified general contracting business with over 70 years of experience and the recipient of the Angie's List Super Service Award for the last eight years in multiple categories. Jaeger & Company comes to you with their shop-at-home flooring sales service, and their hardwood flooring refinishing is the very best in the Bay. Kitchen and bath design featuring American-made, well-born cabinets, and all work is done by employees, not subcontractors. Learn more at JaegerFlooring.com. If you've been following that business show on Facebook and Twitter, you may have noticed the quality of some of our images. That's because one of our sponsors is pro photographer Rick Taseda, a member of the Professional Photographers of America. You can view his extensive work by going to his website at RickTaseda.com or call him for an appointment to chat about your photography needs at 813-641-4757. That's 813-641-4757. 4757. Rick Taseda Visuals. Call him for your next event or project. In an age when the good and the better vie for attention, it is the best that stands out. The best of Tampa Bay from Proudly, Florida is the love story for the city of Tampa. Celebrating success, sharing achievements, a tribute to enterprise and community spirit. Let Proudly, Florida showcase your business to your city, your nation, and the world. For more information, email info at ProudlyFlorida.com and be sure to visit ProudlyFlorida.com. Have you ever tried to buy a home for your family only to find out that you don't qualify for a mortgage loan? You thought that after 20 years as a customer of your bank, they would help you when you needed it the most, right? Unfortunately, the banks of today are not the banks of our parents and grandparents, and our relationships with them just don't matter anymore. My name is Frank Cotto, and I'm the president of the Lincoln Lending Group. 
We all may need a bank, but we also need a Frank. And that's what I'm here to do for you today. Lincoln Lending Group will waive all of your lending fees, which include your mortgage, application fee, your underwriting fee, processing fees, and any bank points. Just call 813-MORTGAGE. You drop the E, and we'll drop the fee. From the Bright House Networks Traffic Center. Hey, good morning. Our biggest problems are the interstates this morning. Southbound 275 jam between Bierce and Hillsboro. Southbound Veterans Expressway. It's also very slow from before Ehrlich to past Waters. Crash on State Road 52 at Bellamy Brothers Boulevard involving a patrol car and affecting lanes in the eastbound direction. Also one on southbound US 301 south of Big Bend Road. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson Uteric Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line 866-545-9595. This report is brought to you by Mothers Against Drunk Driving. For victims of drunk and drug driving, our grief is unique, but you are not alone. Matt is here to help. Call our 24-hour victim helpline at 877-MAD-HELP or visit mad.org. That's M-A-D-D dot O-R-G. Today, storms moving through. 70% chance of rain, high 70. Tonight, clearing but windy, low 51. Tomorrow, windy and cool with a high 55. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Winds WHNZ. Missed a show? Then head over to tampabayradio.com where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. And we're back to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney. And we're currently talking to Susan Poskus, owner of Herberge Poskus International. And you can learn more about her at rpitax.com. Suzanne, did I pronounce it okay? <laughs> Suzanne, Suzanne, I, I know. know. Use those two uh, in You can call me whatever you want, Stella. Thank you. You, understand, um, you understand that it's for you. Okay, good. So, Suzanne, um, I was wondering, what do you do to help our international clients um, in those situations? Is there any ways um, that you can help them pay less taxes with FERPTA? With, uh, what's there? Well, we can always help them identify any deductions that they could take. Okay. Um, Legitimate deductions. Right. In other words, I, you know, if you want to go on a trip to uh, Alaska and spend a million dollars, probably not going to be a deduction for your rental property. But um, ordinary, necessary, reasonable, three words, we help them identify every single deduction they can and save money. Um, usually... I, it's it's not as great as we would like it to be, but most of the time it, it works out okay. Right. So, for example, I have some clients from Switzerland right now, and they are going to be setting a property um, in May or June, um, and they've been coming. So they came last month. We had a meeting to discuss um, the listing, and then they're going to come again and um, start removing things and getting the listing ready and then they're going to come again so all those trips that they are doing to the u.s meeting with me preparing the listing is that um, deductions potential deductions within reason i would say that one or two trips would be reasonable 10 trips not so much so there's a fine there's a very fine line that we would look at for what's reasonable okay. um if it was specifically to sell the property and they had to come several times say maybe a storm came through and they had a tree blow down or something absolutely we would deduct that as well so anything that's ordinary necessary and reasonable are the three key words that they need to tell their accountants so for example <laughs> let me ask you this um uh, it's uh it's a multi um unit uh, property and so they have done repairs change carpet would that be one of them? Is that Those would actually right? go into the basis of the property. So absolutely, that would be something that could be deducted. Okay. And if it's a multi-unit property, they've probably been renting it. So they want to make sure that they've been filing their rental tax absolutely. returns every year as absolutely. well. Mm -hmm. What role does currency exchange play in foreign investment? Obviously, there's differentiation or in the value of the dollar in other countries. I mean, uh, th that's a great it? that's a really great question, Jamie. And I'm glad you brought that up. Do you guys remember in 2008 and 2009 when the dollar fell mm -hmm. dramatically? Yes. It was almost two to one for people from the UK. So it was like a fire sale here. Everybody from foreign countries was coming to the United States to buy property because at the end of the day, it was half price for them. It was half price for them. So let's say that they came over over here and they spent 50,000 pounds and they bought a property, a U.S. property for $100,000. Well, right now, the exchange rate back to the U.K. I think is like 1.57. Um, let's make it 1.5 because I don't have my calculator. <laughs> and can I just say never trust an accountant if they don't have their calculator with you with <laughs> them because they round. Um, so they can go back and they can 
they can sell their property here for a hundred thousand U.S. dollars, but actually make a really nice gain on the back end in the United Kingdom because they can buy their currency back. They use fifty thousand pounds to buy. Now they only they get seventy five thousand when they go back home. So they've made a gain on the property of twenty five percent with no change in the U.S. dollar on the, on the actual sales price. Right. So you can gain or you can lose. Because we're, of currency exchange. Mm -hmm. We're seeing a lot of Canadians sell right now because the exchange rate has become so unfavorable for them. So, uh, I mean, we had one yesterday. He said it's 0.68. When I purchased down here, it was one, it was one to one. So he's got almost a 30% gain when he takes his money back home to buy his home currency. Interesting. Let's talk about some of the common myths that are held by foreign investors. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, uh, some of them think they only have to file a return in their home country, for instance. That's a very common myth. I, we have a treaty with the United States, and I, I don't have to file here. I can claim this on my home country return. Well, your, your home country doesn't really tell the United States about you selling U.S. real property. And unfortunately, it's just it's just 100 percent a myth. If you sell a property in the United States, you are required by law to file a U.S. tax return, regardless of whether there was withholding, regardless of whether there was tax on the gain. You need to file a U.S. tax return. And in a lot of foreign countries, the loss, if you have a loss on the U.S. return or whatever, it may be tax deductible there. So you want to make sure that you do what you need to do and don't get in trouble at home. Also, uh, uh, foreign investors may think the IRS will keep all their funds if they sell U.S. real pop we, property. We, yeah, we talked about that just a little bit earlier. Absolutely. If you if you are due monies back, you can get them back. Um, the biggest myth that I see, Terry, that um, I want to address very quickly is the LLC. Uh, an LLC is not always good for our foreign investors. Um, I have a Canadian who had an LLC long before he came to see me. And he would make, uh, uh, it's a lot of money. He was a working LLC. He was a partner. He would make $1.5 million, and he'd pay half a million dollars in U.S. tax and take his million dollars home to Canada, where he promptly paid about another $550,000 of tax to Revenue Canada. So he walked away with $450,000 out of uh, $1.5 million because of the way foreign some foreign countries, Canada, the U.K. in particular, see the U.S. limited liability companies, Interesting. LLCs. So definitely need to talk with a lawyer on proper uh, company structure in the beginning. Well, most of our attorneys here don't understand that LLCs are not good for everyone. They, they only understand that they're good for us here in the United States. They may be very bad for the person in their home country. Just want to give a testimonial uh, on your company. So I've been working with you for a while. And recently I've been working with Aaron, who is here in the office, not on the camera, but uh, he's here. And uh, just want to give the kudos, so you say, the thumbs up, because um, I've called him to discuss about my international clients. And it's so clear when he explains the situation and, you know, uh, you can get confused easily, but you did really a great job with me r explaining everything point by point made a lot of sense and make me f look really good in front of my clients. And also your follow-ups are impeccable. So, you know. All right. I'll give him a raise when we get back. <laughs> And I mean, your niche is international clients. And so people that are listening that are in that market definitely need to come to you, not just your average CPA. Well, then. And, and something that we offer for all our realtor friends in particular and title companies, um, you know, we're not going give, to give you free tax advice, but if you want to give us a call, we'll be very happy to work with you and explain the rules and explain the rules to your clients for no charge, because we want everyone to understand what's going on. And then usually things work out to make everybody happy. Well, great information on we this like uh, segment, and we thank uh, Susan uh, very much uh, for being in studio here on this uh, early Friday morning. Susan, thank you so much. Thank you, Jamie. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. And again, that was Susan Poskus, owner of Robert's Poskus International. Learn more about her and her company, rpitax.com, or pick up the phone and give them a call, 727-822-9393. Again, 727-822-9393. 822-9393. Stay tuned. Coming back from the break, we'll be talking with uh, Terry Blachek, who is a uh, one of the founding partners with Orange Theory Fitness, a great uh, fitness model here uh, based here in the Bay Area. You've been listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Hi. Welcome to Yeagers. We just want to take a minute and show you what we're all about. Uh, at Yeagers, our primary business is hardwood flooring although we are remodelers for kitchen, bath, and general construction. We operate a fleet of shop-at-home vans that have all the flooring-type products. 
hardwood flooring, laminate flooring, tile, stone, what have you. So we're able to come out first with products in our vehicles and take a look at the setting, how the colors will work, and then to be able to come up with some options and ideas for you. If that's not good enough, we have a large distribution center that we inventory product and have a nice display area. A firm's mission statement defines your hopes, dreams, and aspirations. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. We take very seriously our obligations to our clients, many who come to us in their most desperate hour. Our mission is you, Morgan & Morgan, for the people. Hi, I'm Joan London, and if you're worried about your parent or a loved one living alone like I was, and you want reliable senior care information, then call A Place for Mom, the nation's largest senior living referral service. With one phone call, you'll get free information on assisted living, Alzheimer's care, nursing homes, even important financial information. It's a free service, so call now. Call now, 800-908-0586, 800-908-0586. From the Bright House Networks Traffic Center. Good morning. Please roll out to a crash on East Bay and Seminole. Also, we've still got slow traffic on Southbound Veterans Expressway from just south of Gun Highway to around Hillsborough Avenue. Southbound 275 has been very slow this morning. In fact, extra slow between Bierce and Sly and Southbound 75 still slow approaching I-4. And crash into clearing stages on 301 south of Big Bend. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson Uter at Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line, 866-545-9595. This report is brought to you by the Scientology Information Center. Have you ever wondered what Scientology really is? Visit the Scientology Information Center in downtown Clearwater and find out for yourself. All are welcome. No fees. Open every day. Call 727-467-6966. Twelve fifty winds, weather center forecast. It's going to be a cloudy, windy, rainy day as the front moves into the Bay Area. The high temperature today into the upper 60s, near 70. Rain chance at 80 percent. Nights low into the lower 50s. Not warming up much for tomorrow. Mid 50s will be the high. Uh, windy conditions to start and 20 percent chance of a few showers through the morning. Then a sunny day on a Sunday in upper 50s. Impact Radio, twelve fifty winds. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Wins WHNZ. Missed a show? Then head over to TampaBayRadio.com where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. And we're back to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney where business becomes show business each weekday morning at 8 a.m. here on 1250 Wins WHNZ. You can learn more about the show over at TampaBayRadio.com. Also, we've expanded the brand to include a sixth show each and every week. That show called That Business Show, the Real Estate Edition, airs Sunday mornings on 970 WFLA at 5 a.m., where I and my co-host Frank Coto of the Lincoln Lending Group talk all about real estate taxes, insurance, mortgages, anything and everything related to real estate. And that show is available on demand both on TampaBayRadio.com and on iTunes as a podcast. Time to bring in my next guest for the show. Terry Blachek is a partner and owner of Orange Theory Fitness. He has over 25 years' experience in the management, Ooh. operation, and sales of club companies in the health and fitness business. Terry, welcome to the program today. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Stella. It's great to be here. I'm excited to be here, and uh, we're ready to get going with Orange Theory Fitness. So, talk Let's to do it. <laughs> Orange Theory, first off, where did this name come from? Uh, the name actually was uh, started. We started the company about uh, six years ago in March of uh, 2010. And uh, 
when we were building our very first studio, we had white lights, we had, uh, uh, you know, very, uh, very clinical in terms of when we started it. And so we were concerned that nobody was uh, going to sign up or join the uh, membership. So we uh, were also doing a name search at the same time. Uh, you know, trying to finish out the build out. And so we tried different things with the lighting. We tried up lighting, we tried uh, lenses on the lighting and we put this orange lens on the lights and it gave a really cool glow. It made your skin look like you had a really good suntan. Everybody looks better with a suntan. And um, we did a search on the name Orange uh, Fitness. We put some orange paint on the wall and uh, ours is a science-based program. And so what ended up happening is we chose the name Orange Theory Fitness, and that's really how it came about. Uh, six I like years it now, ago. but yeah. I was—I got to admit, when I first heard, I was confused. I thought it was just some new diet program or something. Yeah, a lot of people—a sure. lot of people call us uh, Orange Therapy. You know, <laughs> right? if they don't know the brand, they call it Orange Therapy, and then after about six months, they start to become familiar with it, and uh, they get the name Orange Theory Fitness. And on that note, not knowing about Orange Theory, I remember when you uh, open your first. Uh, location here in Tampa, I was seeing those orange bikes all around the city and just wondering what that was about. And that was great marketing, Terry. Did you come up with the idea? Yep, that was uh, one of my ideas. So there's four uh, original partners in the in the uh, brand. Uh, Ellen Latham was the founder of the workout. She had a, a studio down in uh, Davie, Florida. She had a uh, room for Pilates, a room for spinning, and a room for uh, well, she called it the ultimate workout, but what happened was is women were doing Pilates, they were getting stronger, but they weren't actually losing weight. And so she created this high-intensity workout program for women to lose the weight after they were doing the Pilates. And uh, she started talking with uh, uh, Dave Long and Jerome Kern, who were currently the area developers for Massage Envy and uh, also had done some things with European Wax Center. And um, the four of us got together. They were the the franchising group. Ellen had the workout, and I was the sales guy and marketing guy. But yes, we use the orange bicycles as a teaser campaign. We get them from Salvation Army for ten, twenty dollars. We paint them fluorescent orange. We put them around the community, and everybody goes, "What's the deal with those orange bikes? Is it an art project? What's happening with it?" And then they I was Google thinking, it. These guys everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> they Google it, with and the then pretty soon bike. they see. You know, uh, we do a direct mail after that that says, "What's the deal with the orange bikes?" And we're introducing a new fitness concept called Orange Theory Fitness. So you know, I thought it was just like one guy driving with one orange bike, and everywhere I was going, it was parking. You had these yeah. bikes. Sometimes you'll see a homeless guy riding down the road with one of our bicycles, but at least we know where they got the bike from, right? Yes, right. <laughs> now, you also got these uh, bodysuit men running around. Uh, yeah, the Morph the Men. Play. Yeah, what's yeah up so the them? Morph Men, uh, what we do is, again, it's a marketing uh, uh, play, but you'll see the Morph guys and the women out at uh, Gasparilla uh, mm -hmm. for the kids' uh, parade this weekend and next weekend. You'll see them at events. You'll see them at, down at the arena. I remember um, being by my balcony and seeing them run in the streets. Yeah, they go. Music. we go for runs down Bay Shore, right. but to attract attention. And really what it is, it's our mascot, uh, but they put the body suits on and they go out and they'll lead like the 5Ks and the 10Ks and the different runs around town. They'll uh, lead out in the stretches or they'll lead the race, start the race off. And uh, But they're our mascots and you'll see them. The orange is, that their, is that their full-time job or are they trainers within them? No, no, the, no. The, they're usually one of our coaches, uh, say, our they're trainers. Not, but you, you know. do see them around a lot. Yeah. So. I don't wear those uh, suits, just so you know, Jamie. I'm the before guy, and the, <laughs> right. after you come in and work out at Orange Theory Fitness, you can be one of the after guys and wear the orange uh, morph suits. So. so explain what explain this workout then, how it's different from you know your traditional uh, gyms. Sure. So this is a studio concept. It's a, a smaller studio concept, much like you would see a yoga studio or a Pilates studio. It's only about 3,000 square feet. So let me tell you what the workout is. The workout is a one-hour workout. Uh, about 15 to 20 people are in that class. Half of the class is in the cardio area. We use uh, treadmills and rowers for cardio. The other half of the class is in the strength training area. We use TRXs, uh, dumbbells, and benches. And halfway through the class, the group switches. Cardio goes to strength, strength goes to cardio. So over the course of one hour, you get a total body workout. Here's the best part. The best part is, is that we are a science-based program and everyone that comes into class wears a heart rate monitor, a chest strap or a wrist strap. And basically what we're doing is we're measuring your heart rate. Those heart rates are then flashed up onto big screens and everyone can see their own heart rate. The science tells us if we get your heart rate to 84%, 12 to 20 minutes inside of that 60 minute workout, you have a different metabolic effect that goes on within your body. It's called EPOC excess post-exercise oxygen consumption. And in essence, in layman's terms, it's afterburn. Your body becomes a furnace for burning calories. 
Normally in the big box gyms, wherever that is, in anywhere in the USA or a world, what happens is people go in, they get on a treadmill, and they stay at what's called a steady state, or they plateau. At Orange Theory Fitness, what we're doing is interval training, so we're bringing your heart rate up, we're bringing it back down. You're walking faster, you're walking slower. You're running faster, you're running slower, jogging faster, jogging slower. Here's the best part, the second best part is, it's for beginners, intermediate, and advanced. You could be at any fitness level, any age, any gender, and still take this workout. So basically when you come in, you choose, as an individual, you choose your level, and whatever the coach is saying, you know where to go at your level. Right, right? so there's, so just think about this, is this is what happens, is a lot of people go, oh, how many people do you know, uh, either yourself or people you know, wanted to do, uh, use a personal trainer? All of us know yeah. people like that, right? What's the number one reason why people don't use a personal trainer? The price. price. The economics, mm -hmm. right? So what we did is we took this concept of group training, and instead of paying 50 or $75 for a one-on-one -on -one session with a trainer, we put you in a group session, still with a coach, still with a trainer, and some music to keep you motivated. And in essence, instead of 50 or $75, it's only 10 or $15 for that one hour session based upon how much you How buy. do your plans work? Do you have monthly plans? Yeah, everything is month to month. There is no long-term contract. That's a great uh, piece of what we do as well. But you can be a member and we base it based upon how many times you want to use the program. Once a week, twice a week, three or four times a week. We also have packages just like personal training, 10 pack, 20 pack. The more you buy, the lower the price point. How many classes go on throughout a day? Anywhere from uh, uh, probably 10 to 12 classes. We start as early as 5 o'clock in the morning, and our last class is at 8 o'clock at night. There's a, every, there are one-hour class with a 15-minute break in between. And also, you're saying that you're hooked up to a heart rate monitor, and you can see everybody in the group's heart rate up on the screen, so it's really like a group experience. Yeah, it is, and it's very little competitive, too. You know, when you see when I'm in there and I'm working out, and I see Stella in there, and she's speeding up the treadmill a little bit, I get a little <laughs> competitive, and I want to speed my treadmill up. <laughs> Although, well, let me remind you, it was the opposite. Because oh, I had you go a bunch of time at 5 a.m., right? Yeah. And it was the opposite, actually. He was running fast, and I was like, oh, Lord, I can't even follow up. <laughs> if you remember, it was the opposite. You were much the, better. The, the good thing is is that um, with the heart rate uh, program is is that it gives you immediate feedback about whether or not you're working out hard enough or whether you're not working or whether you're working out too hard. And, again, what we're trying to do is get you to 84% of your target zone based on your age, and when that happens and you're in that zone, 8 to 12, uh, 12 to 20 minutes, you have this metabolic effect. So what are the, the typical results that you're seeing? You're telling me uh, before the show the different types of results you're seeing in men and women are quite phenomenal. Phenomenal, fantastic. These things is what we talk about, right? So this is a results-oriented program. Uh, if you're looking for a lot of equipment, go join the big box. If you're looking for results and to change your life, give us an hour, we'll change your life. We say that a lot, but uh, the results are phenomenal. Women are burning between uh, uh, 400 and 600 calories per workout, and then they get an additional 400 calories over their base rate app for 36 hours afterwards. Women are losing about 20 to 25 pounds in about six weeks. Men are losing about 35 to 40 pounds. Men metabolize a little bit differently. Is that with a drastic eating differences too, or is that that's, just using their normal way? That's uh, paying routine? attention. I mean, we give you some recommendations about your diet. But not making drastic no, changes. not drastic right? changes. You're not going on a liquid diet, or you're not going on a, you know, a 500 calorie diet or anything, <laughs> nothing like that. You keep eating. All, what we're really talking about is we're talking about your exercise, your workout, and if you can do this three times a week, four times is better, but if you can do it three times a week, you see in three visits, you're going to feel the difference, and in five visits, you're going to actually see the difference. Locations, where are you at across the Bay Area, just some of the locations? In the, in the Tampa Bay Area, we have uh, five or six locations over in Pinellas County. We've, we're in 4th Street, we're in uh, uh, Largo, we're in Clearwater, Palm Harbor, Tyrone Boulevard. In the Hillsboro uh, Market, we are in uh, uh, downtown uh, Channel Side. Uh, you can't miss us. I love us. going there just to see Jessica Dotson. She's yeah, awesome. Yeah, she's awesome over yeah. there. Uh, uh, Channel Side, uh, we've got uh, Dale Mabry. We're in Carrollwood on Fletcher and uh, Dale Mabry. Up in uh, Carrollwood, we're up in uh, uh, the Wiregrass, the shops at Wiregrass. We are in Brandon. So pretty much we're in all the communities that uh, serve the Tampa Bay uh, market. And this company is, what, six or seven years old now? Not six, uh, six years old. This has really taken off in terms of success and locations. Yeah. I remember just several years ago never hearing about them, and now it's like I hear about them all the time. It's probably because of this guy, because he's he going to be talking genius. about washing machines, and I'd want to buy them. <laughs> yeah, let's go. But here, you take know, my money. Orange washing machines, by the way. <laughs> what do you attribute this growth and success to? You know, I think it's a need. I think it's very hard to break into uh, any market uh, and be the newcomer, whether you're breaking into food and beverage, whether you're breaking into uh, any market. I think it's hard, but uh, I think we really found a niche 
in the market where uh, we've created something called affordable group personal training is people really want personal training but what we find out in the big box gyms is less than 10 percent of the total members at a big box gym are participating and primarily doing to economic reasons we found the uh, uh, the way to make that economically affordable number one and number two is we found a program based upon the heart rate monitoring the science behind the program we packaged it a program that really delivers results. Good information. Got to take a uh, break here. Currently talk with uh, Terry Blachek, one of the uh, founding partners of Orange Theory Fitness, and you can learn more about them over at orangetheoryfitness.com. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Tampa Bay weather is a roof killer. That's why when getting your roof done, you want it done right. Hi, I'm Jamie Maloney of That Business Show. When considering a new roof or repair, talk to Westfall Roofing. They've been installing high-quality roofs in Tampa Bay for over 25 years. Get a free, no-obligation estimate by calling 855-99-ROOFING. That's 855-99-ROOFING. Find out what already 15,000 satisfied customers already know. Call now, 855-99-ROOFING. Are you in need of new flooring or ready to tackle that home remodeling project? Then contact Jaeger & Company Incorporated, a family-owned, state-certified general contracting business with over 70 years of experience and the recipient of the Angie's List Super Service Award for the last eight years in multiple categories. Jaeger & Company comes to you with their Shop at Home Flooring Sales Service and their hardwood flooring refinishing is the very best in the Bay. Kitchen and bath design featuring American-made, well-born cabinets and all work is done by employees, not subcontractors. Learn more at JaegerFlooring.com. If you've been following that business show on Facebook and Twitter, you may have noticed the quality of some of our images. That's because one of our sponsors is pro photographer Rick Taseda, a member of the Professional Photographers of America. You can view his extensive work by going to his website at RickTaseda.com or call him for an appointment to chat about your photography needs at 813-641-4757. That's 813-641-4757. 4757. Rick Taseda Visuals. Call him for your next event or project. In an age when the good and the better vie for attention, it is the best that stands out. The best of Tampa Bay from Proudly, Florida is the love story for the city of Tampa. Celebrating success, sharing achievements, a tribute to enterprise and community spirit. Let Proudly, Florida showcase your business to your city, your nation, and the world. For more information, email info at ProudlyFlorida.com and be sure to visit ProudlyFlorida.com. Have you ever tried to buy a home for your family only to find out that you don't qualify for a mortgage loan? You thought that after 20 years as a customer of your bank, they would help you when you needed it the most, right? Unfortunately, the banks of today are not the banks of our parents and grandparents, and our relationships with them just don't matter anymore. My name is Frank Cotto, and I'm the president of the Lincoln Lending Group. We all may need a bank, but we also need a Frank, and that's what I'm here to do for you today. Lincoln Lending Group will waive all of your lending fees, which include your mortgage, application fee, your underwriting fee, processing fees, and any bank points. Just call 813-MORTGAGE. You drop the E, and we'll drop the fee. From the Bright House Networks Traffic Center. Crash and go on East Bay at Keene Road, also one on 50th Street, just south of I-4 at Broadway in Tampa. Interstate southbound 275, still a bit slow between Beers and Hillsborough, but it's getting better. Southbound 75 looks a whole lot better approaching I-4, still on the break, so between Fletcher and Fowler. Southbound Veterans still slow between Gun Highway and Waters. And the Gandy Bridge, as it's been most of this week, a bit slow getting through that light at West Shore. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson Uterich Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line, 866-545-9595. This report is brought to you by Lead Safe America. Does your child struggle to concentrate and pay attention? What looks like ADD or autism may actually be caused by lead poisoning. Lead is a neurotoxin. It can cause permanent brain damage. Find out how to protect your family. Go to leadsafeamerica.org. Today, storms moving through. 70% chance of rain, high 70. Tonight, clearing but windy, low 51. Tomorrow, windy and cool with a high 55. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Winds WHNZ. Missed a show? Then head over to tampabayradio.com where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. And welcome back to the program, everybody. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, and we're currently talking with Terry Blachek, a a founding partner of Orange Theory Fitness. And visit orangetheoryfitness.com to find the location nearest you. Uh, Terry, one of the fun things that you do over there at Orange Theory Fitness is uh, the weight loss challenge. Tell the community about this. This is really exciting for us. Uh, Once a quarter, we offer a uh, weight loss challenge uh, program. It's a six-week program. 
and uh, there's some uh, rules and regulations to it, but you can come in, sign up for the six-week challenge. Uh, we give out uh, cash and prizes anywhere from 500 to to $1,000 for the top male, the top female, and that's on a per-studio basis. Uh, the next challenge is actually starting up uh, the 25th, which is coming up on Monday, but from Monday through next week, you'll have one week to come in and actually get started, get, get going on that. Uh, you have to come in at least three times a week. You have to fill out a food log, and every weekend you have to come in and do your uh, what we call weigh-ins and measurements with. And uh, I love one of the word fitness. the word have because you, you're now accountable. You signed. You say you're going to do it, and you have to do it. Yeah, that's one of the you know one of the pieces of success of our program is is you know everybody. There's not one of us that doesn't know that exercise is good for us, eating right and exercise right. But even though we know about it, uh, many times we don't do anything about it. So having an accountability partner is a lot of times the reason why someone gets a personal trainer. At Orange Theory Fitness, you actually have to pre-sign up for your class. Uh, they're all class bases, every hour and 15 minutes apart. But you sign up for the class. You've got a uh, coach, and a lot of times if you do it with a friend, it's always more fun to do it with a friend but that weight loss challenge coming up next week uh january 25th it kicks off uh valuable gifts and prizes uh cash prizes for uh, and, and and as opposed to the uh pounds you're losing we're doing it as a percentage of your body weight so it's fair for everyone Interesting. so that somebody doesn't lose you know a, a lot of weight and somebody else uh, loses a little bit of weight but it's really based upon the percentage of body weight that you uh, what's that the biggest loss uh, that you've seen in the uh, bay area is that, that one uh, come to we've mind? seen uh well in the six-week program we've seen uh, a little over 50 pounds in uh, six weeks wow. a man uh, lost that uh, but you know over time we have a lot of success stories you know there's not um, too many people out there that uh, don't want to lose five or ten pounds of vanity weight right so a lot of those people come in and they see that results very quickly uh, but there's there's other people who are losing significant amounts of weight Li uh, Lindsay Morgan is uh, one of our she success was in my stories. Classes. she's awesome yeah, she's Great you know, she's energy. been doing it for over a year but yeah. she's lost well over a hundred pounds mm -hmm. uh, you know and over the course of a year uh, a lot more success stories uh, but you can see those some of those success stories and testimonials on our website right. now you said there's a cash prize also for the yeah, right now five hundred dollars for the top a male five hundred dollars for the top female these are at uh participating studios but uh but that's perfect because you can go and buy new clothes that will fit you yeah, yeah, yeah you get the whole makeover, makeover right yeah. you got the body makeover <laughs> you'll get a new hairdo you go get a new wardrobe but you can get those at channel side at carol wood uh down at our university park uh, store in sarasota and also up at the uh, shops at wiregrass all those are participating in that program Program. Now you have a new uh, spokesperson, national spokesperson, Lolo Jones. Very exciting. Lolo is uh, came on board with us uh, back in October. Uh, she's now uh, heading, to, you know, working on her, uh, I think, third Olympic uh, uh, program. She's going to be heading over to Rio. But uh, Lolo Jones is now representing us and talking, you know, doing a big uh, media push for us. But she's uh, representing us. And one of her uh, uh, um, claims is is that when she went out and started looking for workouts to get back into Olympic condition, she came and chose Orange Theory Fitness. So you'll see Lolo on the morning shows and CBS, ABC, NBC, uh, talking about Orange Theory Fitness fitness and promoting us uh, on our website. But now, where are the locations at in Bay Area, but have you got uh, across Florida, nationally, where are you at so far? Yeah, so big picture is is that uh, this is a six-year-old company, fastest growing fitness uh, franchise, uh, Inc. Magazine called us uh, one of the fastest growing entrepreneur, we're in the top 500 franchises around the uh, country, and Forbes Magazine called us the fitness trend of 2015. So based upon that, uh, when we started six years ago, today we have over 750 licenses sold. We have 350 wow. stores open. We are in 10 different countries wow. uh, around the world. So big international push for us in the coming up in the if next If anyone two wants to open a franchise, they can be in touch with you? You can be in touch. Really what you want to do is if you're interested in a franchise opportunity, uh, owning your own business, uh, the best thing to do is go to orangetheoryfitness.com. There's a tab on there that says own your own studio. Click on there. There's an application. There's a fee. Not a fee, but an application. And it tells you all about the fees and processes involved in becoming a franchisee. That's the best place to go, orangetheoryfitness.com. Com. And where did this get started? Uh, what city was it? Bay, Tampa, Fort Myers? Where was the exact start? Fort Lauderdale start? was our very first, first store. Fort yeah, Lauderdale. opened that store in March of 2010. I went to this one, actually. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's our very first store. Uh, and then we uh, sold a couple franchises. And then uh, actually St. Pete was the fourth store uh, to open up in the uh, marketplace. 
And again, over 350 open stores today, 750 licenses. And so what inspired you to get involved with this? Because you have, I mean, 25, 30 years of uh, experience in the, you know, the fitness business here. I mean, what inspired you to get involved with the Orange Theory? Uh, great question, uh, Jamie. But, uh, you know, I was always involved in the big box gyms, right? So originally in, involved with the Crunch Guys, and involved with the Lifestyle Family Fitness. I left Lifestyle. I had my own consulting company. I was traveling around the world, helping health club chains, looking. I was tired of traveling. And uh, I really wanted to get involved in my own brand. And I sit on a, a round table for best practices, CEOs from health club chains around the uh, world, actually. And I was down in Miami, and someone said, have you ever heard of this woman named Ellen Latham? And I said, no, I'd like to go visit her studio. I visited her studio, said we should talk about creating a national brand. And that's what developed into uh, the guys from Massage Envy, Ellen and myself, putting uh, uh, some concepts together about uh, Orange Theory Fitness. That's Ellen's book. It uh, just came out uh, in October. Uh, it's called Push. It's actually the Orange Theory uh, Fitness story as written and described by uh, Ellen Latham. And you said your expansion, I mean, you're already in 10 countries, uh, correct? Yeah, 10 I different mean, countries, what's yeah. the, I mean, wh where's the uh, limit for this? Are we going to see this in every town eventually? I don't know if every town, <laughs> but, uh, you know, the, the, the opportunity is, is if there's a need, uh, and, and what we know is, is that with the aging of America, uh, with the baby boomers and everything that's going on, is all of us, right? All of us want to be able to do the things in our 40s and 50s that we used to be able to do in our 20s and 30s. And the key to that is staying healthy. Uh, you know, this is a great business. Orange Theory Fitness is a great business model. But the truth is, is that we have to stay healthy. It doesn't matter how much money we make. Unless we have our health, we're at a disadvantage. And so I, what we see is we see people really migrating over into uh, activities, uh, whether it's uh, exercise indoors, exercise outdoors. We know that 22% of the American population exercise, but we also know that 60% of the American population is overweight. Uh, there's a big opportunity for this in the U.S. And there's so many different directions you can go with a fitness club. I mean, is the goal always to stay as a group fitness uh, a course? I mean, are you going to ever add a, like the big box component where you can buy a membership and go use the free weights yeah, on your I own? I don't see that happening. That's a great, uh, great idea. But, uh, you know, go with what works. What sets us apart is the small studio concept. It's less intimidating. There's no long-term contracts. The heart rate-based uh, training and the high intensity, the interval training is really what sets us apart versus a big box gym and going in and uh, you know having a lot of equipment and maybe not knowing what to do or being embarrassed. Now, and I asked that feelings, question so. for a specific reason because you find your niche and you don't want to ruin it by trying to do too much. And that's why people are going to Orange Theory now because of that uh, personalized group training that you can't find at the big box gyms. Absolutely. Yep. And so uh, talk to us uh, real quick, got about a minute left. Gift cards, can people come in for a free session? Sure, your first session is always free. Whenever, If you want to try it out, all you have to do is simply stop by or call. Uh, you can also go online and find the studio closest to you. What we're really looking for is having you come in and to try it out. Uh, unlike other places where you have to go in and tour and go through a big sales process, we don't do that. What we say is you come in, try it out, experience it, and if this program is right for you or you think you can do this once, twice, or three times a week, then let's talk about the different packages and programs. We do offer gift cards, gift cards for yourself, gift cards for a friend or family member. Those are available. Again, we offer memberships. We offer packages. But again, it's got to be right for you. We understand that. We're not looking for a ton of people. We're looking for, you know, a few people that are interested in changing their lives. Give us that one hour. We'll change your life. Great discussion. Terry Playcheck, a founding partner with Orange Theory Fitness. Thank you so much for being in studio today. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, thank Stella. You, Thanks, Terry. Jamie. Absolutely. Visit orangetheoryfitness.com for the location nearest you. And also thank you to Susan Poskus on the first segment, owner of Herbert's Poskus International. Visit rpitax.com for more information on her. And also visit tampabayradio.com for more information on this show. You've been listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business.